Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here and in today's video, I will be talking about the Washington football team free agents for this year, who I would keep and who I would let go. So if you guys are new, make sure to subscribe for Washington and NFL content, hit that like button and turn on those notifications so you never miss a video. It really does help out the channel a lot. And also, go ahead and follow me on Twitter. I'm trying to get to a thousand followers on there and I would really, really appreciate it. Now, let's get right into the video. Believe it or not, the Washington football team actually has a lot of free agents that are coming off the books this year and they're going to have a lot of decisions to make. So that's what we're going to be talking about in today's video, which free agents the Washington football team should keep and which ones they should let go. So Washington, you know, this number is a little bit off, but they have, you know, around 53, 54 million dollars in cap space. That does not include the Charles Leno deal and um, Washington, I mean, it wouldn't affect it barely at all, but the Washington football team did extend um, Jordan K, who I don't want to pronounce his name, but, you know, linebacker, special teams guy. So they extended him. So that's one, you know, free agent that, you know, you cross off the list. And I'm fine with that. You know, some people are like, why are they doing this? He's a special teams guy. He's been good on special teams. That's all he's going to play. So that's fine. But real quick, let's go through the list of free agents for the Washington football team. So I'm going to go all the way up the list and then down. So the biggest name, Brian Sheriff. Then you got Ryan Fitzpatrick, John Bostick, Cam Sims, Cornelius Lucas, J.D. McKissick, Daryl Roberts, Bobby McCain, Adam Humphreys, Troy Ackie, Tim Settle, DeAndre Carter, Tyler Larson, Ricky Seals-Jones, David May. I mean, the list goes on and on. You guys can see this whole list right here. Joey Sly, Troy McTire. You see Jordan K here. We um, already <clears throat> re-signed. So, man, a lot of free agents that we have to make decisions on. And, you know, we'll go over here. You know, we'll start off with some of the guys. I think we should re-sign. And, you know, Jaden McKissick is a guy that I definitely think the Washington football team should try to keep around. He's been really good for us the last couple years. Is probably one of the best receiving backs in the NFL. I would say probably a top three, top five guy. I mean, you know, put him behind Kamara and Christian McCaffrey when he's healthy. But besides that, I don't know how many guys are better at, uh, you know, better than him as a pass catching uh, running back. You look at his stats um, in 2020, he played in all 16 games, had 365 rushing yards, had a touchdown, and then also had almost 600 receiving yards with two touchdowns. This year, played in 11 games, went out early, so, you know, about 10 and a half games, uh, 400 receiving yards, two touchdowns. And then, you know, rushing-wise, um, 212 rushing yards and two touchdowns. So he's crucial to this offense. He allows us to do so much more. He's not, you know, a starter per se, but he's pretty much that guy because he plays a bunch of snaps. Very, very crucial for this offense. He's a guy we definitely want to keep around. Um, even if we want to add another running back this offseason, whether it's in the draft, later in the draft, or, uh, you know, someone in free agency, I do think that bringing back J.D. McKissick would be a good move, and I think it'll be relatively cheap. So let's bring him back. Um, another guy that I would be, you know, I'm not, you know, I don't really want him back. You know, I would be okay either way, but, you know, I think it would be a solid move is Bobby McCain. He's been, you know, he's been solid for us this year at free safety. I believe he has four interceptions on the year. Could have been like six or seven. He dropped quite a few. Um, but I think, you know, early on in the season, a lot of the defense didn't play well in the secondary, especially Bobby McCain. But I think as the season went on, especially after, you know, once the, you know, win streak started happening, Bob McCain started playing better. And even the games we lost um, down the stretch, he was playing much better there. So um, I'm fine with him as our starting free safety. I still think you should bring in another guy, you know, that you can develop behind him. Because if you sign Bob McCain, likely will be a one-year deal. And I'm only signing Bob McCain if we can get him for cheap because there's definitely other options out there in free agency for cheap. And there's some big name guys, um, Bates from the Bengals, Tyron Matthew. The, although, you know, Ron Rivera historically has not gone after, um, you know, big name free safeties. He really um, hasn't, you know, invested that much in the position. 
and you know whether it be the draft or free agency so um, I don't think they'll do that this year but someone like Bob McCain um, you know that level of player I'm fine bringing Bob McCain back for a cheap deal do not want to overpay him because you're definitely guys that you know you can replace him with in this league so I definitely um, agree with that another guy I think no doubt we have to re-sign is Joey Sly I mean he's been incredible for us I, I don't know the exact number but he has not missed a kick I think he's like nine for nine ten for ten one of those at least one of those was over 50 yards um, he's been the best kicker I've seen in a long time maybe since Kai Forbath's rookie year where he was electric um, but I really like Joey Sly it's a small sample size um, but it was, you know, it's not like it was a super small sample size. He still kicked like 10 times, didn't miss an extra point. So I do like what I, you know, we've seen from Joey Sly, and I think they should definitely bring him back. Um, you know, maybe not a, you know, you know, three year extension because, you know, you still don't know for sure. But at the minimum, a one year uh, deal, maybe even two, maybe like a two year deal. And if they can, you know, include. Um, you know, some t type of option there that would be great because you know he's been reliable for us. You know, over the you know the season once we signed him and he came back from injury, and we really n have not had that at the you know kicker position in a long, long time. So those guys, I think, no doubt, especially Joey Sly and J.D. McKissick, we need to bring back. Bob McCann is a guy I think we should bring back. Um, you know, let's talk about some guys, and there's still some guys I think we should bring back. Uh, you know, I'll go over that in a little bit. Guys, I think we should not bring back Ryan Fitzpatrick. I mean, that is obvious. There's no reason to bring him back. He might even retire. Um, but yeah, I mean, we saw, you know, the flaw with him. I mean, he's he's old and he, you know, um, these injuries, you know, for some players might only take six, seven weeks. But with someone like him, it's going to take a lot longer. And anyways, we don't want these Ryan Fitzpatrick type quarterbacks anymore. Um, Kyle Allen, I don't think we need to re-sign him just because I do think we're going to add another guy this year, you know, at the quarterback position. So, you know, we'll have Kyle or we'll have Taylor Heineke and then we'll have, you know, that other quarterback. Who knows? Maybe we can re-sign Kyle Allen for a cheap deal. Really doesn't matter too much. Um, but those are my thoughts right there. I don't think we should re-sign Brandon Sheriff. I think Brandon Sheriff is a great, great guard, you know, a top three, top four guard behind, you know, Zach Martin and Quentin Nelson. But, you know, we offered him to be the highest paid guard in, in NFL history. And all we hear from is he wants to be here in D.C. for life. And that's fine. That's fine. But, you know, I honestly don't even think it's a good thing to pay a guard you know eight i think they offered him around 16 um which even that is a lot but you know at this point it's going to be like 18 or more million per year for brandon sheriff and there's just zero reason to pay that like th there's no reason to pay a guard 18 million dollars a year unless his name is quentin nelson or zach martin because you know brandon sheriff is not in the same tier as those guys and not only is he not in the same tier he is constantly injured every single year almost every year he is out for five or more games this year was another year out for five games this year the year before is three year before i believe it was like six and it just goes on and on with brandon sheriff and i'm just like i'm fine giving him a cheap deal like i mean it's not cheap but like 14 15 million dollars which is way under what he's gonna get i'm fine doing that even then i'm a little hesitant but he's not gonna take that um, so I'm fine with him leaving us getting a third round compensatory pick because that's probably what, what it's going to be unless we spend a crazy amount of money. I mean, he's going to sign like, let's say a four year, $80 million deal. I heard, you know, from some, you know, cap expert that experts that it's probably going to be around 18 to 20, 21 million dollars a year for him. And if another team wants to pay that gladly do it because I, I would not pay him if I'm Washington, especially that amount. So some other guys I think they should bring back. I like Cam Sims as a rotational receiver. I thought he should have been playing much more, though, this year because on a good wide receiver a wide receiver core, he is a rotational receiver. This year, though, with our injuries and, you know, at some places, lack of talent in the receiving core, he should have been playing more than he was. But I think he's a good rotational receiver. I would love to bring him back. Cornelius Lucas is another guy. You know, he... 
Last year played really well. This past year, he started off the season pretty well once he came in for uh, <clears throat> for Sam Cosme. But I feel like the last six weeks ish, six weeks of the season, he his play kind of tailed off and was pretty disappointing. So um, I think it would be a good guy to bring back because he is good depth. But I'm not like you know, it's not a major thing that we have to do. But I would get, I would try to bring him back on a cheap deal if we can. Um, and if we can't bring him back, then that's another need that we have to address, you know, a backup tackle. Because Sadiq can play both, but he's more of a guard. Um, I honestly, I've been a John Bostic hater for a while, but I honestly would be okay with bringing him back if it's as a backup. If it's as a backup middle linebacker, because we don't have good middle linebackers right now, Jamin Davis and Cole Holcomb, both aren't going to be playing middle linebacker for us unless it's very ne- unless it's necessary. So we're going to need another middle linebacker. And you know, let's say we sign you know Leighton Vandresh, but he gets hurt in the middle of the season. We're going to need someone that can step up there and play middle linebacker. Cole Holcomb can, but his strength is on the outside. So having someone like John Bosick, who's a veteran, knows the system. I would be fine giving this guy a minimum deal, maybe a little bit higher than that. Um, you know, one, one, two, you know, one point five million, something like that. Bring him back, and you know he's a good leader, so I think it would be fine to bring him back, but only as a backup, not as a starter. Um, let's see, Dale Roberts, another guy. You know, if you want, he's a okay back of the end guy, but not a guy we really need to bring back. You know, Adam Humphreys, I like what he can do. Uh, you know, I like I, I like what he can do, but at the same time, you know, he's kind of at the back end of our wide receiving core, especially you know next year. Let's say we got Terry. We got Curtis Samuel. We got, you know, Cam Sims if we bring him back. That's three right there. And then, you know, Deami Brown, I think he will be ahead of the depth chart, you know, you know, ahead of Adam Humphreys on the depth chart next year, hopefully. And I think we will add another guy. So he's a lot of these back end of the guys. It's kind of like, you know, eh, it, it, we can sign and we cannot. So Adam Humphreys. It's one of those guys, you know, we could, I would be okay either way. Same thing with Troy Apke, um, but, you know, you can find good special teamers um, around the league. And Troy Apke, honestly, he's a good, you know, gunner, you know, good on coverage sometimes. But I feel like his fielding ability, like he messes up a bunch. Like the last week of the season, maybe the week before, Tressway does a, per- yeah, last week, perfect punt, like at the one. And, you know, Troy Apke, like kind of shoves it in the back of the end zone. Bad play by him there. Tim Settle. This is the one where I want to, you know, it would be nice to bring him back, but it's just not really possible with the current defensive line that we have right now. If we do make a trade, you know, I don't think it will happen, but if they're, if we do trade for a quarterback this offseason, it'll be likely that, you know, th- th- there's at least a chance that we trade one of our defensive linemen away. If we trade someone like Montez Sweat or, you know, more likely, you know, Deron Payne or Ionitis, one of those interior guys, then there's a chance that we, you know, bring back Settle. But even then, you know, um, there's still two guys ahead of him, you know, Ionitis, Payne, and Allen. So if one of those guys get traded, you know, Settle would still likely be behind someone. So I think other teams around the league know that he's a good player, that, you know, he's not playing that much, but on most teams, he would be playing. So I actually think he's going to get a pretty good deal in free agency that might even give us like a comp pick, like a fifth round comp pick. So um, I don't know if we're going to be able to re-sign Tim Settle. And honestly, if we don't make a trade with our defensive lineman, there's no reason to bring back Settle because it's going to be somewhat expensive. And he's he's playing like five defensive snaps a game. Like we're not using him enough. And he's, you know, playing behind, you know, really good defensive linemen. So I don't think um, this is going to work out. I don't think we're going to bring him back. DeAndre Carter, I think it would be good. Bring him back. You know, they they said they're working on a deal. So bring him back as a kick returner and, you know, a guy on offense. I forgot to add him as, you know, another receiver next year. Um, not use, You know, we don't need to use him that much in offense because, you know, he's kind of like a gadget guy. Sometimes can do those end arounds and other stuff like that. But I do like DeAndre Carter, especially as a kick returner. Not so much, though, a punt returner. The rest of these guys on this list, honestly, are guys that um, I would be fine either way. I think Larson would be a good, you know, depth piece to have on at the center position. He played well 
when Chase Roulier was out, and we might need to draft a guy too. Ricky Seals Jones was solid for us, but I do like Bates, so I would be fine if we didn't bring back Ricky Seals Jones because it would allow for Bates to develop more, but also if he's back, that helps us out a ton. One guy that I do, because again, a lot of these guys, it's like, who cares? Like 50 50. Like, uh, it really just depends on the price. But one guy I do want to see back, Toy McTire. Like, I think that was a disappointing injury because he was actually starting for us a couple games there, playing some significant uh, snaps. And I really like what we saw early on in the season, in, you know, preseason and at some times you know, points in the, you know, start of the season. So bringing back him on a cheap deal would be good for our cornerback depth, in my opinion. So I want to hear what you guys have to say about that. And, you know, that's my video right there. You know, the main guys that I feel strongly about, you know, not bringing back is really Brandon Sheriff, Ryan Fitzpatrick, and that's really it. There's a couple others that I don't really want to bring back, like Adam Humphreys, although he was good. Tim Settle, not that I don't want him back, but it's not going to happen. And then the guys I really want to bring back, you know, Cam Sims, J.D. McKissick, um, you know, Bob McCain, maybe Tory McTire, DeAndre Carter, guys like that. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe. If you guys are new, and turn on those notifications so you never miss a video. Peace, guys.